Here is uh, another picture of a karyotype. Now this one is showing actual dim digital images of uh, chromosomes. If we come closer, uh, we can see that they have different colors on them. That's because scientists are able to um, uh, dye uh, certain parts of chromosomes so you can identify different genes pretty easily. Now in humans, as we see here, we have two of each kind of chromosome. So we have two kinds of number one, two of number two, two of number three. So we have two sets. Uh, we got one set from our mom and one set from our dad. Now, uh, when, if an organism has two sets of chromosomes, that is called diploid. So for example, the cell here at the bottom is diploid because it has two uh, sets of chromosomes, one from the mom, one from the dad. Now, if an organism has only one set of chromosomes, it's said to be haploid. An egg is haploid because it has one set of chromosomes, and a sperm is haploid because it has one set of chromosomes. So if a haploid joins together with another haploid, that's one set plus one set equals two sets. The cell you end up with is a diploid.